Hey guys, this is Infinite here and today I am going to show you how you can play PUBG mobile Android game on your PC using BlueSec player. BlueSec player guys is a really well built player. It can not only run your games on higher frame rates but it can also run them really smoothly on low end PC too. So it's really really good player and I recommend it to almost everyone who want to play mobile games on PC. And the best part is guys that it has a battle royale mode inbuilt with which you can use your mouse and keyboard to control almost pretty much everything inside your game and it gives us an insane advantage over other players. So wait for it till the end of the video because I will show you something really crazy in the end and you will be astonished to see what or how much you can accomplish by doing that. So first we need to download the BlueStack emulator. So I'm just gonna go to the BlueStack website and quickly download the emulator. As you can see, we are here at the BlueStack website and they are already advertising the Play Unknown Battlegrounds mobile game on their website. So let's just download the BlueStack right here and download it. As you can see, our download have started. So let's be back when our download have finished. So guys, as you can see, our download have completed. Now we are just gonna run the file we just downloaded. And when we do that, we will see something like this. So we are just gonna click on the install now button and it will automatically start to install the blue swag on our PC. Easy, right? So let's just wait for it to complete its process and then we will see how to install the PUBG game on BlueStack. Alright guys, as you can see our installation have completed. Now we just gonna click on complete button right here and BlueStack engine will start to load up and on the first put it will take 2-3 to three minutes but the next time whenever you wanna run the BlueStack it will take only 40 seconds to run. So that is really really great guys and as you can see it has loaded up so let's just quickly go I'm gonna select my language English and now it's asking me for the Google ID or the sign in let me just quickly sign in. As you can see we are now finally loaded up and it's gonna redirect us directly to the Google Play Store where our PUBG app is. So we are just gonna write PUBG here and search for it and as you can see we got the first link and we are just quickly gonna install the PUBG game. And now as you can see guys our PUBG game has finished downloading and now it's gonna install it real quick. Alright, let me just get back to the My Apps tab right here. Alright guys, our PUBG game have been installed. But before we start this game, we need to do one more thing. We need to go to this settings bar right here. And we need to actually select our display size. So I'm gonna choose it to 1600-900. And in engine, we are gonna make sure it is on OpenGL. And in CPU cores, it's on 4 CPU cores. And you can give as much memory as you want and remember guys the more you give it the better our game will run. So let's just restart our blue stack and open our game. Alright guys our blue stack have loaded up and now we are gonna run the pub chicken. And as you can see, as soon as I run this game, they show us this battle royale mode that has been already implemented by the BlueSec player. And with this, you can actually use the keyboard and mouse. So let's just see what they're doing. As you can see, they are using right click to scope in. And with this button, you can use your mouse to aim and with this we can shoot so that's pretty much it guys that's all you want from a pc and a mobile game 
So let's just see our gaming is loading up. And we see the PUBG logo, the light speed quantum and now our game is checking for updates. And they are giving us the notice that this game is released to App Store, Google Play Store, do not download it from anywhere else. And now we can log in in two ways, one is guest, one is Facebook. So I'm just gonna use Facebook as all my data has already on that account. So all my data will be loaded here. Alright guys, as you can see, we are being logged in and And now it's loading and taking us to the main menu of this game. Hey guys, as you can see, it has already set us up to the highest mode, which is really great. Thanks to Bluestack and you can use the daily login to log in and gain rewards. All right, as you can see, we have missions right here. We can collect whatever we want from right here and from here we have the events, from here we can see our profile, from here we have daily login, from here we can see which of our friends are playing this game, from here we can choose the mode, we can start the game, from here we can see the server, I recommend to use the server which has the lowest ping and from here we can see the ranks all around the world based on the, um, based on the region, we can change the region and the ranks will change. and if we go into inventory we can see the stuff we have we can open the crates if we have here and in the supplies if we have enough bp we can actually buy our crate and open it from here we see all the messages we have and this is the main part right here this is the setting part guys here we can change the color of our cross here here we have aim assist healing prompt it will prompt you for healing if your health is low and here we have display left right fire button and gyroscope don't enable it as it will only work for your mobile not for laptop and peak and fire let's enable this and graphics as you can see it has already set on high but we can change these three modes for more realistic colorful and classic view and if you change one you need to restart your game i'm not gonna do it and from here we can use the aim fire controls and in vehicle guys this is really important you want to make sure that your control is set on second one with this you will be able to move your car with WSAD just like in multiplayer games but with this you have to click on our on your but with this you will be not able to do that so make sure it's on second one and with sensitivity you can change the sensitivity all you want keep it on low here yeah. I keep it on low and with pickup it have all out and with pickup it have auto pickup enabled with which it will automatically pick up the recommended weapon from here we can increase or decrease the audio i'm just gonna decrease it so okay so you guys can hear me better and here we can change the language so guys i think that's pretty much it let me run a quick game to show the insane advantage of the battle royale mode i was talking about all right guys our game is being loaded up and all right guys our game have loaded up and you can see even i am recording this video it's running really really smooth and i am able to do pretty much every action right here really really easily and with WSAD I'm able to move, with C I'm able to crouch, with Z prone, with space I'm able to jump and if I click right here I am able to punch, if I press tab I can see the inventory just like the real game and if I click this little keyboard right here guys something like this menu will pop up and it's really really important. In this menu you can change the placement of all the buttons you want wherever you want you can change the tap key if you don't want it for inventory you can change it to whatever you want you can delete this key you can add keys actually you can put this on alt you can change your battle aim key and guys this is the main thing here because with this you will be able to enter into the mouse aiming mode and able to exit it so make sure you put it to wherever you can access it really, really easily 
and as you can see we have uh, we can change pretty much everything i can move it right here i can place it anywhere and this is the fire button i can also put new ones right here and once we are happy with all the settings you can save it so i'm just gonna quickly get down somewhere and show you how actually the aim mode works And as you can see I am already able to control my game really really easily and and as soon as I enter if I press V on my keyboard which is the key I set for battle royale let me show you real quick if I press V I have set it for the aim as uh, the aim movement or I should say the aim control key if I press this key right here the mouse cursor of mine will disappear and now I am able to move my character cross here with the help of my mouse as you can see I can do a real quick 360 my mouse is gone and I am able to pretty much do everything and let me pick up this stuff up uh, you may wanna um, you may wanna enable or disable it on occasions so I as I said you wanna put it to the place where it's easily accessible and you are able to do stuff really really easily so let me just pick up some guns I can just tap shift once and my character will be able to run really really easily and if I tap shift again my player will stop I can also change the burst with B and N and that guys pretty much sums up all the control it's almost like same as the real PUBG game and they have brought the experience of that PUBG game really really close to the real one. Alright guys, as you can see, I am able to see a person right over there and I am gonna attempt to kill him. Alright guys. Guys, as you can see, I was able to aim at him really, really easily and I was able to kill him even though he had a better gun than me. So I recommend you to try this and you will be amazed by how much you can do and what you can do so guys that was it for this video if you like this video please press that like button and if you have any problem with the blue stack please let me know in the comments and i will try to solve it as soon as possible till then it was infinite signing off